Welcome back, kindergartners. This is Mrs. Gordon with your Phonics First Letter Drill of the Week. Last week, we learned about the letter X, like in box. Remember, take your two arms, put them together like two sticks, and go X, X. So that was our, our sound last week. This week, we are going to learn a new sound and it goes with this letter. This is the letter J. And the letter J goes J, J, like in jar, J. Try that, go J, say jar, J, jar. You make it in the front of your mouth, J, J. So your teeth are together and then you push the air and your sound J. Your mouth opens just a little bit in jar. It also is in jet. Say jet, j, jet. So jet and jar have that j sound in the very beginning of the word. Yes, we call that the letter J. And it's a letter that goes down into the basement with its hook, and then it has a dot for the lowercase j. Let's say jet, jar. Yeah, I feel that in the front of your mouth. That's the letter J. Another letter that a lot of people get mixed up with that letter is the letter G. The letter G makes the sound way back here in your throat. It's a hard sound and it goes g, g, like in the word gate. Yeah. So these two sounds are very different, although they're very easy to get mixed up. So we're just practicing their main sound with this j, like in jar, or g, way back in the back of your throat. Go, you can even put your hand there, you can feel it when you go g, g, gate, or goat, say goat, and you can feel it way back in the back of your throat. So that's how you can tell the difference between these two sounds. So today we're going to add those to our pile when we practice our letters. So let's first do the first part of our three-part drill, which is, of course, you telling me letter name. Okay, and remember, like before, I'm going to give you a couple seconds because I want you to try to say the letter name first, and then I will tell you what it is so you can check to see if you were right. Okay? All right, here we go. Ready? G. X. U. F. B. R. S. N. H. C. P, M, D, K, V, A, W, O, I, L, T, and J. Try that one again. Say J. Very good. Okay. Now, in the second part is when we do the letter sound. So now you're going to make the sound. Before we start that drill, though, I want to review two letters, sounds that we're going to be using in our blend today. We've done both of these before but I wanted to go over them before I put them back in our sound stack, okay? So the first one was we learned that S and H together, like in shark, makes that shh sound. Practice that with me. Go shh. Now say shark. Shark. Yes, good job. It's the S and H together make that shh sound. The other one that's going to be in our sound stack today is the C and H together, which we used in our blend drill before. 
Remember that CH like in ch chin, ch chin. Yes. Try it. Go ch, ch. Say chin. Good job. So both of those are going to be in our blending today that we are going to be doing. So I'm going to put them in our sound stack. The other letter that's going to be in our blending is going to be the short U sound. The short U sound, like an umbrella. Uh, uh. Remember, we talked about that. Short U sound is like if somebody ran into you on the playground and they knocked all the air out of your lungs, you'd go, uh. That's the sound the short U makes, that uh, uh sound. So that's the sound that we're going to have in our um, words that we're going to be practicing to blend today. So I wanted to review that one, too, so you remembered what that was. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Remember, I'm going to show you the letter, and you are going to tell me the sound it makes. And again, I'll let you go first so you can make the sound. If you're not sure, Mrs. Gordon's going to make the sound so you can check and see if you're right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ch. G. X. Uh. Sh. Th. So now we're going to start and work on our last part of our three-part drill, which, remember, is the blending board. Remember, this is where I put the sounds out, and then you are going to blend the sounds together. So we are going to start. Oops, oops no, let me get my letters ready here. Ready? Fingers up. Ready? Read. Ah. Mmm. Swipe it together. Fun. Let's try that one again. Ah. Mmm. Fun. Good job. Do you remember from last week? All right. Here we go. Fingers up. Ready? Read. B. Ah. Mmm. Bun. Good job. Fingers up. Ready? Read. R ah, n run. Let's see if you can do this one without me at the end. Ready? Fingers up. Ready? Read. S ah, n. Did you get sun? Very good. All right. We're going to change the last letter. Now, let's try a new set. Fingers up. Ready? Read. N -t nut. Good job. Fingers up. Ready? Read. Ut. Hut. Good job. Fingers up, ready, read. K, uh, cut. Good job. 
fingers up. Ready? Read. R -t -r -t. All right, I'm going to throw in a tricky one. Oh, remember what that says, like in shark. Fingers up. Ready? Read. Sh -a -t. Shut. Like shut the door. Good job. All right. Now we're going to change it up one more time. Let's put our G that we talked about today there. So we have ug, ug. Let's start with this one. Ready? Fingers up. Ready? Read. J, ug, jug. Good job. Fingers up. Ready? Read. B. Ug. Bug. Good job. Fingers up. Ready? Read. P. Ug. Pug. Fingers up. Ready? Read. M. Ug. Did you get mug? Good job. Fingers up. Ready, read. Hug. Did you get hug? Hug. Hug. All right, we're going to put in our challenging one for our last one today. Ready? Think about what CH says like ch chin. Fingers up. Ready, read. Ch Ug, chug, like a choo-choo train goes chug, chug, chug. Good job. All right, we worked on a couple of different word families this week. We did ug, we did ut, and we also put the letter n there and did un, un. So this week, while you're doing some work with your mom and dad, I want you to try to practice writing some of the word families. See if you can write some words that go un at the end, or ut at the end, or ug at the end. Okay, I hope you have a very good week, and Mrs. Gordon will be back next week with some new sounds and letters. Have a great week. Bye-bye.